All right, welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkies. He's Dan, I'm Sean, and tonight we're gonna do a little hunter proof blind. It's time to figure out what the best hunter proof bottle on the market currently today in 2024 is. Is it the new 1924 from Old Forester? No. Or is E.H. Taylor Single Barrel still king? Yeah. Those are we, uh, we Well, well, there's two other ones in there. And it's yeah, whatever, rude. dude. Those are um, for the fun of it. So yeah, we just released, or just released, we just reviewed 1924. Yeah. It's $115 SRP. It's, it's good, a though. lot for Hunter Proof for 10 years. Whiskey okay. in the bottle's great. It's okay. Um, I said I'd rather have some E.H. Taylor Single Barrel. Mm -hmm. Really would. Um, like I said, I'd do four or five Eagle Raiders, but we didn't have that. That's option. crazy. I don't um, agree with that still to this moment. Remus 5 was another one that we really, really enjoyed when it came out. It was fantastic. Um, so we threw that in there. We didn't want to do Remus 7 because, well, Remus 5 is our favorite. Listen. We're going to pick some favorites. We're going to go with our favorites. This is just the best list, okay? And then, Except um, that's an underdog. We threw this one in there. Uh, we went, you know, Legacy. We got a little Beam, 12 year. We... Really like that when they came out. So we haven't had it in the longest amount of time. Figured we would revisit it. This is not easy to find. We're aware. This is not easy to find. Also aware. Also not easy to find. Again, we're aware. All right, real quick before we get on with the video, I want to talk to you about the sponsor today's video. If you can't tell, it's a little into the AM action. Uh, I've been working with Indy AM for years Holy at this moly, point. Holy for a generation almost, someone said. And I still have shirts from the first round. I cannot speak highly <laughs> enough wild. of the quality sure. of t-shirts you get. Yeah. I've always been a giant fan of the basics. If you're um, a value person, yeah, I would say look no further. I don't yeah. know that you're finding a better t-shirt value. And listen, I am a pick, nitpicky t-shirt guy. Yes, he is. Hate when I buy like... a t-shirt and it doesn't, you dry it, it's ruined, you can't, it shrinks up. Yeah. I'm, I got a long torso. It's like a whole thing. <laughs> But needless to say, we got into the AM. Yeah. Rocking the shirts for 17 years now, basically, give or take a handful. Here's the link. And we get some money off. People, we go on trips with people, we go on picks with patrons, whatever. We go yeah. places and they're like, oh, you guys actually like really, you guys wear those. We got the community like, in on it. We go a lot of places, see people rocking in the AM. Which I like great. that. I like and it's that. always great feedback from them. They're like, dude, I love these t shirts. Yeah. It's my favorite. I always wear them. Bundle them. Into the AM. Fits well, doesn't shrink. Uh, just, it's not one of those 100% cotton shrinkers. Yeah. It's not that, which is great. Uh, lasts a long time, great value. And if you make hoodies, you know, I was gonna say, if you're not shorts. just looking for shirts, they got shorts, they got joggers, my favorite joggers, uh, hoodies, they got oh, the, the nice split pockets, mm -hmm. the, the, the necks that don't choke you. There's so many pockets. Soft, soft hoodies. Check them on out, support yeah. the people supporting us. Yes, please do. And uh, upgrade your wardrobe. Yeah, people have been supporting the AM through yeah. this link, and we love to see it. We appreciate you guys supporting them. Into the AM appreciates that too. Yeah. So thank you, Into the AM, for working with the channel. Thank you guys for working with Into the AM in your own home, in your closets, sometimes in your bedrooms, depending on if you bought the underwear or not. A little weird, so let's get back to that video. Just, so these, three of these obviously being pretty hard to find, but with this being a new release. It is whiskey, very hard to find Whiskey right now. is good. Yeah. Price tag is a little hefty, feels like. Really Today, quickly though. Let's take care of some business. We got, uh, who we got? Ryan. Newbauer. Right? Ryan, you Newbauer son Is that, baby. okay. Dude, Cheers, that was Ryan. weird. He is like, just a little spark in my brain was like, we know this name. Ryan wanted uh, 2021 Four Roses LE. Fantastic bottle whiskey. Thank you for this. Oh my, did you smell that? Yeah. Holy that's shit, problem, Ryan. Cheers that to you, buddy. That's a great bottle. phenomenal bottle. Thank you for the support. Love you. Oh. Thank you, Ryan, for the support, buddy. Cheers. Oh yeah, my. That might be one of the better ones ever. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. This is a whiskey war. Yeah, kind of. Once if everybody knows the rules. Uh, yeah, Ricky poured it for us. It's blind. We don't know what's in what. Well, hopefully, we can find the old Forester. We're just going to rank them. You know what's going to be funny gonna is be Dan right. is going to have so. to look at the camera and admit that there's banana in it when he smells it. Okay. Okay, so hey. Man, that, that smells, smells good. phenomenal. Very much cherry forward. Very. That's like a black cherry, honestly. Maybe a flat cola. For some reason, there's like a, a hint mm -hmm. of a hazelnut in there, and I don't know why. I like the word hazelnut. It's fun. It is cola. Very, very much so. Very cola-esque. Um, bunch oh, of cherry on man. the back. That is sweet oak. That's good. I like that a lot. A little bit of black tea. That rolls around nice. A lot of caramel in there, Real too. Real chill. Real chill bottle. Finish get, is nice for 100. You know what? You know what I offer? 100 is great. 100 is great. Oh. 100 is great. I do get, you know, we just kind of talked note. about this. I get a little bit of honey in there on this. A very dark honey. It tastes very caramel for it. I love that. It is so flat cola. 
And I love flat cola. Are we whiskey war in this or are we doing scores? Whiskey war. Okay. This is a whiskey war. So objectively, this is an ob this what is, drinks better? This is the what's the best right okay. here. Okay. I like and it. And it is a comparison. That is a high score though for me. That's a high score. I'm yeah. with you on that, dude. I'm with you. B. Okay. It's very vanilla creme yes. brulee. I would go that. Uh, it, this smells decadent. I would go with a vanilla cappuccino on the nose. Oh, okay. But I get a little Subtle. bit of banana peel on it. And I don't know if it's just placebo because I know this is in the lineup. I will know after I taste the other two. But if I was a betting man off the nose, That's... I'm guessing that right now. Objectively, without thinking this is anything, uh, obviously That's I'm gonna good. try and guess. That's pretty damn good. Vanilla frosting. A it's little like a linger on that too. More simple than A though. It is. It is. It it's good. Is. Simple than A. More simple. I Simpler. Get just a, a smidge of cinnamon in there for me. Oh, that's interesting. All right. It's I'm, all palate though. I want to have another drink of this. Can I tell you what I, that's, I don't need it though. On A, I wanted two drinks. Mm -hmm. On B, I was pretty good with one. Little red apple skin. <sighs> you know, it's slight cinnamon. Very vanilla. It's pretty oaky, which I do enjoy. Vanilla frosting. Man, but linger, I think, is where it actually falls off to A. A I, definitely holds on a little bit longer. Yeah, it does. I get some of the um, like oaky bits that kind of stick around. It's almost like a, a smoky oak, mm. I think, that chills. Yeah, I feel like we're reaching. Um, like almost burnt marshmallow ass. There's you know, a lot of vanilla. You know how you, like, you, you eat like a burnt marshmallow from time to time, and it just kind of films in there. Sure. Like I know sugar that. Sugar film. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, that's now, really quick is. before you don't smell it yet. B yeah. is very much so. Um, I did you I'm sorry. F holy shit. I'm not okay. Damn it. I did. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I remembered. We're back. Ooh. B. Ooh. Did you say red apple skin? A little bit. To a tiny bit. Yeah. Tiny bit. Okay. C. That was not worth the, that thought process. I'm gonna cut that all that. Spent. Yeah. There was a spend. It was 80% of your It was a your mental brain. spend. Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't worth it. Okay, C. Dude, that, uh, whoo, that's a fresh great. apple, dude. Ooh, C smells good. Okay. Oh, C's, we're back. C's Can punchy it. on the nose in a, in a great way. Punchy, oh. um, fruity flavors, not ethanol y, punchy um, fruits. I do get a lot of apple, but I think it has some yeah. like other fruit medley. It's almost fruit cocktail esque yeah, I agree. on the nose. It's very sweet. It smells syrupy. It smells very oily, heavy. It drinks just like it smells, which is awesome because the nose is great. The most. Mm. You could convince me that's birthday bourbon. Damn. You could. You could convince me that's a birthday bourbon. We've had birthday bourbons that smell and taste like that. Well, I might be wrong on what I thought things were. If, if I'm not, I'm not even saying I believe it's that. Yeah. No. I'm just saying like that evolution of like the maraschino cherry, yeah. this very syrupy sugar. I was sugar. guessing, I would go Taylor on that. Yeah, yeah. I think that, so too. Man, But that I is... think that you could convince me that's a birthday bourbon, which is kind of messed up. It People is. in the comments are gonna be going nuts because we're guessing. I'm not guessing, are. you're guessing. I'm don't, speculating. Don't say we're. I'm speculating. We're not, you this are. This is what my brain does. All right. All right. <sighs> Sable D. Okay. That smells great. Okay. Who's messaging us? Hey buddy. My phone's going off too. Which one of these is Knob Creek right now? You know what's not funny a clue. is when we first reviewed Ooh. that, we said that has very like Buffalo Trace esque um, sure vibes. Or, yeah, yeah, I couldn't. It's the tell most you. unbeam bean product. Sure, and that was this was the reason we threw it in is because we were like, ah, it's an underdog. Yeah, we're not big bean fans, proof, but every once in a while these and hey, hey, hey what's those sixty bucks? 80 bucks? Um, 60, 80 and findable. Yeah, I, I will call it seventy. -ish. It's How somewhere in there. That out? So okay. This smells fantastic. Can this I, smells like the oakiest of the, the bunch. This carries the most age, I think, on the nose. It blows my mind that in this group, I, I was more sure on the Matt Madness champions about certain bottles than I am in this, and I know the four. Do you oh, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if you gave me a match game. Now, mind oh. you, I didn't sit down and dissect them, okay. but... Honestly, um, a lot of well done and blended mm -hmm. MGP, we do confuse with mm -hmm. Buffalo Trace Blind very often. Yep. Um, I think they have some of that very fruit forward profile that yep. kind of gets blended. That's good. Man, is D good though. Man, to that, that is thought. the most marshmallow cherry. You know what's interesting is, uh, oh, honestly, similar, honestly, very, a ton of similarity no, across the four. All of them had vanilla. I think every one of them had vanilla. Yes. The complexity was just Most low in B. Most of them have some red fruit qualities, like we've called fruit cocktail, a yeah. lot of apple, um, cherry, and That's most of great, them. That's great, dude. D is awesome, honestly. Balanced. 
Oh, this is gonna be tough. Finish lingers out actually, which is nice. I, I have a last, but I don't have a first. I don't have a Does last it, or a first. I definitely have a last. B. Um, yeah. <laughs> B was just the most simple of the bunch. It's the least complex of the four drinkers, <sighs> the shortest finish. This actually has a couple different layers to it, this which is nice. This might be the best nose. I love it. This is very this punchy. Is cool. This this uh, little eye opening, you know, mm -hmm. just a little bit. I like that. It finishes with a nice brown sugar note. All right, we're gonna take a quick break. I like that. I don't know why I went full, I don't know, was that Wisconsin? Um, and then we'll run it back. You ever watch Fargo? Yeah. Was that Minnesota or Wisconsin? Minnesota, Minnesota wasn't it? Yeah. Minnesota. All right, 13%. All right. All right, D to A. Um, I'm going through almost 20. All right. One sip, everyone knows the rules. One sip. Fantastic. Oh, confectionery sugar this time? Very sweet, yeah. Like a, almost like a pound cake, sugary angel food cake maybe? I, yeah, I'm thinking like a powdered sugar almost. Um, Honestly, great. I, I have to get over the fact that none of these have an, a fantastic linger. Obviously, the hundred proofer. Um, great though. Had a hundred proof. I'm really, I'm a really big fan of these. <sighs> C was my favorite nose. That didn't go away. Yeah. Holy shit. That didn't go away. That smells so phenomenal. That fruit cocktail nose is just to twenty. I don't even. So I haven't been guessing through, right? Mm -hmm. I don't mind guessing at the end. This is the most Old Forester birthday bourbon-esque in here. That's and it good. could be this bottle, it could be that bottle, it could be either one, it could be that too, but. There's a small bite on that and it makes me think it's above 100. Like on my oh, tongue. Oh, interesting. Um, that one, man, it, <laughs> it, that finishes like toasted marshmallows. That's phenomenal. Okay, you ready to move to B? Yeah. Okay. Okay, red apple skins are up front in the nose yeah. now. Which is what we got, I think, late on the finish of B. That's what you had mentioned earlier. Yep, that um, has that marshmallow, sweet, um, like wood sugar, oak. Okay, hold on, close your eyes. Okay. Right musk smell and put it up to your nose, smell it. Nailed it. A little bit. Um, it's almost the to the rind, too. Mm -hmm. It's just a little, it's a little melony. Yeah, I like that. I like melon, though. <laughs> that has almost like a, a maple syrup note to it. Oh, that's interesting. Um, for me, it's like, it's got a little bit of that smokiness to it. Um, I go with you on that. I could see maple syrup as man, a. Man, you thought this was new, 1924. Imagine I don't know if it so is. much anymore. It doesn't feel like it now. But I now feel, we've been through all four. I feel so unsure about anything anymore. A. A is marshmallow cream out of the jar. It's fluff. The sugariest, yeah. vanilla iest like. Ricky got. We got this. Um, I, I truly believe this is what it's called, so just follow me on this. Yeah, it's I believe like it's called Mexican vanilla. I'm. I think you're right. I'm pretty sure that. I, I, yeah. This smells like that. It smells like uh, icing on a donut. Yeah, it does. I love that. I love this nose. It's simple, but it's. I just love what's there. I bet money I that's the Remus, but it could be because I forgot. There's really old stocks. Man, is that good? That's really good. Cherry Ford. A lot of vanilla. Black a tea. lot of confectionery sugar. That has the best linger, hands down, for me. We did all the A's and B's, ones and twos and threes. We have our list. We deed some A. Uh, mm, no? No. Okay. I don't know. That's don't good. Know, no, I think just, that's great. <laughs> we have you were doing that our comparison. list. How about that? <laughs> um, yes, that was my last 50 50, was uh, A and D. Okay. First, second, and then a third. We have a one slightly moment. different order. We do, but not, you know, so, it's half and half. Let's go. You have the, the, the list. It's in my pocket. Well, my order. Okay, let's do it. Um, I don't feel good about this. I will say all these are fantastic. Yeah, hey, not a single letdown. Though. I do believe after we went back and forth for a while, I was wrong on where 1924 is. I think we both agree it's D. Actually. Okay. Yeah, I Could would agree that now. on that now that you looked at the answers. <laughs> <laughs> my last place, B. Old Forcer. What? <laughs> yeah. I picked up the no, and I intentionally picked, I picked up the right bottle, dude. <laughs> I was like, I don't know just, just if you picked up the wrong bottle or said, said the wrong no. thing. Okay. Last place, Knob Creek for Sean and myself. 
honestly, but hey, great bottle. Like not bad. none of these are losers. I would definitely pay for another bottle of that. Mm. It's fantastic. You know what? The only like truly the the drawback was the finish. It was. That was, that was it. it. Yeah. It's just short, shorter um, than the rest. All right, great bottle. Third. Um, D. D. Third place for you. Yeah, oh, that four makes for sense. nineteen twenty-four. 1942. Dude, I don't know, man. When the West was won. Uh, <laughs> second place, A. A was Remus. Oh, and still so first the place. undefeated champion of the 100 Proof Wars ever. Which, mind you, I do believe that these two, this was the expectation for first, was either Remus or H. Taylor. That's fair. So Old whiskey. Yeah, incredible. Oldest, old. like, legacy ever, yeah. if, uh, seemingly. So, and they don't throw something them. that, like, Sean and I really draw towards yes. Buffalo Traces, mash bills, and flavor profiles. This confirms it for me when we talked about 1924 yes. and saying, hey, would you rather have one of these or one of those? Sure. For me, I would rather have the Yeats Shaler. Yep. It just, all around, it bats so high for me. It does. It does a good job. Remus Five was our favorite Remus ever. Just it was. That. Yeah. So my Remus order, Seven was is, is the Remus most recent right. one. It's not bad. It's pretty okay. The problem we is, we thought it was better than Six. This was cheaper than Remus Seven. It was. Which we thought wild. Remus Seven was better than Six. Yes. Remus Five, one of our favorites. Yep. Fantastic. All right. Great my good. order, Knob Creek was also last. Still so right. Sean and I agreed on that. Yeah. My third place was actually the Remus. How dare Five. How my second place was D, which was oh. the Old Forester. I was a little worried. And I my first place wrong. was the E.H. Okay. Taylor. So the only thing you and I switched was Those the Remus two. and the Old yeah. Forester. Um, well, you were comparing the Remus and the Old Forester for your second third. I was. So the thing that, that Sean was blinding at the yep. end was actually just these two. Um, easy first for me. Same. And I think easy last. And Same. I say that with all due Same. respect, both great. Same, I agree. These two for me were pretty competitive. Those are kind of mix up y. The problem is, well, I guess not so much anymore, not anymore that Remus yeah. is almost the same price as yeah. the new uh, Remuses are that. Yeah. yeah. And and the new Remuses might probably a little easier to find than this, but my expectation with this being a row bottle, yeah. this becomes more findable. Yes. It'll price price scale stays back. the same. But price on Remus is now is one twenty. I, I so. honestly think it would be so much easier to swallow at $99.99, $100. I'm gonna be honest. The and 115 I, for some odd reason just puts it in a, a weird dystopian price tag. 115 for me. puts it in a non whiskey row. 400, yeah, I know. Price point. Is that the was problem. the entire, like, ideology of the row was yeah. solid uh, whiskey. Available value. At just a, a great price point. Yeah. And they did it. It's all 69. Mm -hmm. Now, mind you, old ten-year-old Old Forester is relatively rare whiskey, yeah, because President's Choices and all these. But camera's about to die. We're the Bourbon yeah, Junkies. Just saw the battery thing flicker. We're the Bourbon Junkies. Like I'm like comment subscribe. Thank you guys for being here. Our order is this: just mixing up Remus and Old Forester. That's it. Simple yeah, as that. It. 